yeah good morning everyone let's start the market commentary as we see the daily chart for nifty uh, now some changes can be seen on the chart after a huge fall yesterday uh, what we basically see are the two marquee differentiations on the chart first thing the trend line which was supposed to be going upwards and now there are candles which have basically moved on the sideways so that is first point that you should understand uh, that yes after the fall uh, taking this fall out will be now very difficult for nifty so even if nifty crawls back up there will be some resistances at every path as it goes so even uh, trying to go higher will be now a difficult task for nifty specifically the levels of 10480 so one we can assume now it might go on the sideways or down so that is pretty much clear after the yesterday's uh, fall that we could clearly see apart from that if we try to understand uh, the yesterday's fall right from the high basically went down and filled the entire gap which was there prior uh, on the nifty around this 10,380 mark so we had basically put our support level or around this gap of 10,380 to 10,360 and the gap is completely filled out so that is what we need to understand the gap has been filled out and it did not take any support over there now if we see today's chart what we basically observe over here after opening a little higher tried to go high but could not cross 10,380 so I can say the prior support or gap up point basically will now act like a resistance. So Nifty has to face a good resistance around this 10,380 point. And let's go and see inside if we can see uh, what happened exactly right from the morning. So when we see in the morning it did open little gap up, tried to go higher but could not go higher compared to 10,380. Right, so when we go out and see what is this 10,380, it's basically the gap up point which had happened, zoomed high yesterday, it breached that gap and filled the entire gap which was there. Right, so today it did open up, it went higher, and now again, if we see, it has filled the gap of today's gap up and it is inching down. Right. So we need to understand uh, who is trying to pull Nifty down. Uh, yesterday it was pretty clear Lupin was one of the culprit. Apart from that we had the other pharma pack and Reliance not to say. So you need to also understand now Reliance is not giving us an up move and rather than that it is showing sign of uh, downward move. So if we see on Reliance uh, we had basically seen uh, it was moving sideways but now as I see on the chart of Nifty one thing is very critical for us to understand that it did fill today's gap and it is now inching down. So the bigger resistance for getting 10,470, the first resistance now for Nifty is 10,380. So if it is, if it continues to keep making lower highs, uh, we are pretty much clear it can find some kind of downward move sooner or later. Now important point for us as we are seeing over here 10,380 now becomes a crucial resistance level and why is that so because it fills the gap which was there on the up move and now it has tested it twice even right in the morning as well. So that is one of the important key pointers that we need to understand uh, for nifty resistance level if nifty tries to go higher from these levels. Considering the downside let us see where it should go and stop. So one thing that I see over here, there has been a gap up move and taken multiple support around this 10,330 odd levels. So when I go out now and I see these levels where gap up had taken place and it came back to the level where it tested it twice was 10,330 mark. Right. So after seeing the support coming from 10,330 maybe twice, let us see today if it touches those levels and if you see right now it is basically trying to remain in that zone so the important point of reversal on the intraday basis will be 10,330 mark now two things where they are very clear when a huge fall comes if you see yesterday it was a hundred point fall and now follow up hundred point fall is less likely 
so you will find internal reversals happening or maybe nifty consolidating at these levels the important point for us on the downside now we need to understand is 10330 where multiple supports were taken and the gap up has also happened prior if these levels are out straight away down to 10250 cannot be ruled out right so that we need to now understand whether these support lines will now basically be act like a bounce back for nifty or no but one thing is clear from today's move or yesterday's move to be precise there is now a downside on nifty so nifty cannot just keep flying high anymore and if we see on the daily chart as per our trend uh, basis it has moved sideways and it has formed a complete red candle moribas now what can happen here you can find some kind of reversals happening on nifty trying to inch or maybe touch even 10480 once again so for that we need to understand who will be the leader to bring nifty higher to these levels because bank nifty and now pharma is already out and we need to understand who will take the leadership now going back and seeing uh, bank nifty the bank nifty as we had also thought about it prior as well the rise was steeper the fall will be faster right so if we see the fall which happened yesterday and now again it seems to be on the downward trajectory now what we need to understand from uh, bank nifty's movement uh, one thing which acted like a good resistance was around this 25200 and 25000 mark and basically it opened gap up so uh, Nif bank nifty coming back to the same levels can basically act like a good support for bank nifty so let us make them green and wait what exactly happens around these zones so when i go out and see bank nifty now uh, important <coughs> support level is where bank nifty is also coming uh, or approaching i can say around this 25200 mark where the gap up has happened so i would not say bank nifty has closed the gap nifty has and it is basically coming to another support level but bank nifty if we see it has not closed any gap and it is coming to the first support zone so bank nifty might find reversal along these lines of 25200 or 25000 uh if it forms a support on the intraday basis it basically will push nifty also higher so that is what uh, can be basically understood from bank nifty so i'm not that bearish on bank nifty because the gap is not yet been filled and you can find a quite quite reversals happening at these levels also right so bank nifty can be one of the supporter maybe on the next half of the day now let's go and see some of the stocks who are being gainer or losers so today if we go out and see on the gainer side we are seeing sipla gaining enough for today after posting decent set of numbers uh tech mahindra uh, where the it pack has been resonating very well tcs uh, even infosys all were doing good yesterday and follow up rally can be seen today also apart from that uh, from the pharma pack lupin was basically down dr reddy lupin sun pharma now basically come come in the list of gainers because there was a huge fall off which happened yesterday and because of lupin sun pharma and dr reddy uh, was basically considered as a bearish bet so a follow up buying basically shows uh, some short building could have taken place in these counters so what has happened over here uh, the losers of yesterday the entire pharma pack are now trying to be green or gain a side uh, it is yet providing good support and then the banks are really out from here see a texas bank is inching higher and you also have indus in bank now excess bank has also given out some news uh, and on back of those news uh, it is on the higher gain so if we go out and just look at uh, excess bank to understand what exactly is the chart looking like so after posting not decent even worse numbers excess bank underwent a good rally and it tested the support resistance and now what we see today after going a fall yesterday it opened gap up so we need to keep an eye on access bank agreed there are a lot of shorts which were built up and followed up and might be one more upside in access bank might be remaining 
for this month but end of the month Axis Bank can be a biggest loser on Bank Nifty. Considering the other stocks, others are the pharma stocks and the IT stocks, TCS is making fresh highs and Asian Paint comes from nowhere. So if you go out and see Asian Paint, uh, Asian Paint on back of oil hitting high, uh, Asian Paint has undergone correction. Uh, if you see from the highs after the results were decent enough from 1220 it has come down all the way to 440 where the rally started right and after undergoing gap down and a continuous sell-off now it is showing some kind of uh, buying taking place on these counters so Asian paint is trying to be one of the gainer now when we go out and see on the losing side so we have HP IOC and BPCL I, HP has a result coming up uh, but if you see all three uh, related to oil or OMCs are going down so HP IOC VPCL are not participating and the results like Yes Bank uh, based of the RBI uh, issues which are lingering around Yes Bank doesn't find good amount of footing uh, Z has been performing very well uh, but now we can see a small hinge on the Z as well now the biggest guy is Reliance okay now Reliance which has been the participant only on the gainer side through and through we we'll basically now see Reliance on the sell side Reliance and SBI let's go out and see <coughs> Reliance so when we go out and see Reliance uh, two things which has happened on Reliance uh, on the <coughs> previous commentary we had decided we have basically made a small assumption on Reliance I'm just putting our trend line across uh, one thing was pretty clear that your reliance was not making new highs okay it was going along the trend and all of a sudden it moves sideways as we were seeing over here apart from going sideways it made multiple same highs so if we see that it was a strong selling taking place at 955 agreed it was going sideways and strong selling and then there was a little gap up gap down which happened on reliance and following that yesterday Reliance participated in the downward rally. So the downward rally basically is not only Lupin or the pharma guys. I would say uh, Reliance was basically the main holder in bringing the Nifty down. And if we see today also Reliance opening gap down and the way it has gone fast on the higher side, it will come down also very fast. So if I see Reliance can easily come down even on intraday basis to 880 odd levels. And basically come to the uh, the lower base of the Moribas. So idea over here is Reliance is seeming to be weak, and basically it can go further down, bringing Nifty on the downside. When we see on the bank, let's say the SBI results are yet pending, but if you see out SBI after undergoing a huge upside, uh, we see a small minor correction coming in, but uh, SBI will not come down so fast because there has been gap up which has happened at smaller levels and it has inched higher so it might find some support till the results and if the results are worse or bad not meeting the expectations you can find SBI reaching to 280 again right, so that's SBI let's have a look at Lupin so Lupin basically now further more on the downside so the chart basically for Lupin is all ruled out uh, because it basically takes away all the support in one day now we need to understand and look in how it can basically bring itself back uh, it won't be coming up so high back even to these 1000 levels so easily so it will take some time it will consolidate at these lower levels now first and then we can look out for looping so at least today it is not going down and it is trying to show some kind of reversal when I go and look at TCS, uh, this is where uh, the in interesting part uh, which is taking place on the IT part. If you see on the IT sector, uh, it has it underwent a good correction, made some follow up gap up and strong rally took place. It took multiple supports around these gap and these levels where another rally took place and then after seeing the results, it underwent a correction and then a huge buying taking place so if we see uh, TCS the kind of selling which took place over here uh, it reverted back with a strong up move and then it 
took some time to take out these two six three zero levels so it took around three four days and then the rally of up move started so if we go back and see this level obviously the level of uh, two six three zero was very important so if we go out and see these levels will now act like a support going forward so it starts its rally upward and doesn't even wait for 2700 mark and it just inches higher so it has now clearly seen to be a good upside move uh, not being on the bearish side so it might reverse but not pharma pack so that is what we need to look out for uh, if we go and now see retreat on bank nifty and nifty bank nifty can find some kind of buying coming in at these levels because of the gap up and a good support level which is there uh, if we go and see nifty uh, there is a small support around this 10,330 mark as we were trying to see on the minor scales of 15 minute chart uh, if we go out and see there was a gap up and multiple support levels at 10,330 mark so after going a huge sell off yesterday uh, there can be a small rally on the upside but even on the upside we are clear uh, the today's high 10,380 becomes very crucial for nifty and the second level if you want to see where the rally of downside started yesterday in the second half was 10,440 so these are like levels where we are very very uh, cautious if these levels come up and it retests these levels which can which is possible it tries if it tries to move sideways but uh, now nifty cannot make fresh new highs without support of any big news or any sectors right so that's the call for nifty so if you look on the daily chart it seems to be a fantastic sideways formation red moribazu taking place might reverse a bit but going in this month more or less 10,500 is the capped upside for nifty so we do not see any further upside on nifty it might result or one bounce back back uh, is possible but after that uh, maybe after 15 half of the month or so we can find a huge selling coming in All right so that's it for the day uh, thank you for joining in and we'll connect tomorrow as well